Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you all are having a great day so far. So today on my desk, we have an iPad 7th generation, currently on iOS 18.3.1. And similar to our other iPad series in the past, we are going to be jailbreaking this device using Pale Rain. Similar to those videos, there will be separate videos on installing this jailbreak using Linux and macOS. This video will focus on the Windows installation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in a Windows environment on a Surface Pro 7. And as of the current time of this video, Pale Rain does not have a build available for Windows machines. However, there is an alternative to use Pale Rain by booting into another operating system using the USB drive. So similar to our previous video, that is exactly what we're going to be doing. However, we will need a couple things first. The first thing we will need is this PaleNix ISO file. And we will also need software such as Belina Etcher to write the image to our USB stick. The link to both of these will be available in the description. That being said, after you have downloaded both and installed Belina Etcher, we will go ahead and open the program, take a USB stick, insert it into our computer, and then select the previous ISO file, which we downloaded right here. After you have selected the appropriate image and the appropriate USB device, we can go ahead and click flash and the flashing should begin. After the flashing has completed, we can go ahead and move on to the next step. If you also have a surface, you may want to turn off fast startup. Our next step is to boot from the USB device. So we can go ahead and click start and then shut down our computer. If you're on a Surface device, you will need to edit the boot configuration to boot USB storage devices first. And if you're using a Surface Pro, you will need to disable secure boot as well. And then from here, we could select to use a device, USB storage. And after all that is complete, we are now booted into PaleNix. Now that we are at the PaleNix screen, we can go ahead and select the first option. And then from here, for our purposes, we will just select start from here. We will go ahead and turn off the iPad. And when we connect it to our computer, the computer will attempt to put the device in DFU mode. Now the device has enter recovery mode and there will be some timing steps that we need to follow. When prompted, you will need to hold the power and the home button for a specified period of time, and then just holding the home button for a period of time. And the process will continue to retry until you do this successfully. Once that is done successfully, Pale Nix should begin booting into Pongo OS. And on your device screen, you should see something like this right here. And the device will continue to boot and then show the Pale Rain screen. As the device reboots, we should soon see the home screen. And if it doesn't work the first time, it may take a couple more tries to finally get it installed on your device. After that process is complete, you should now have the Pale Rain app on your device. So we can go ahead and open it. And then we can install Cilio and Zebra as needed. A few things to keep in mind. If you're using a Windows computer to install Pale Rain on this iOS 18 device, you may have some issues with Pongo OS freezing or not doing anything for several minutes. There are a couple options that you can try. Uh, the first that I would suggest is just to wait for a few minutes and eventually the app should install. Something that I've also noticed is on subsequent attempts of reinstalling and uninstalling Pale Rain Sometimes it will take the app a little bit longer to actually show up on the screen. Even when the device reboots, if you do not see Pale Rain, give it a few minutes or so and maybe it will show up. Something else to mention, I found a list of commands to be used when jailbreaking tvOS 18, which may come up in another video, we'll see. But in any case, I will also leave those commands in the description if you would like to try them out or if just waiting or the app to show up does not work for you. The third thing that I found after trying this a few times, Pale Nix is kind of buggy. So sometimes it will initialize, sometimes it will not. I guess that really depends on the computer that you are using for it. However, with enough time, patience, and the correct device, you should be able to jailbreak iOS 18 on the iPad 7th generation. In the next videos I make on this series, I'm going to be installing the Pale Rain exploit again through Linux, Mac OS on the Intel chipset, as well as Mac OS on the Silicon chipset, just like before. That being said, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave them in the comments and we could see if we could troubleshoot the issue that you are going through. However, if you found the content helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, as well as sharing the video to others who may need it. And with that being said, that is the installation of Pale Rain Jailbreak. So thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Take care.